As you can see, my Devil Ivy going very, very strong. Today, we have round two of Ornate Moments setting up the outdoor cinema for Lids and I to settle down for the evening and watch one of Lids' favorite films. Really looking forward to it. Should be good fun. The weather is perfect. Predominantly blue skies, but enough cloud that hopefully at sunset we're gonna get a really beautiful sky this evening. So I'll share with you guys what the setup looks like. Um, the guys are down there at the moment working very hard. But basically, Ornate Moments are a company that were working on bespoke like weddings and parties. And off the back of that, they've expanded even further and they're now offering home cinema events. So they can come into your home or outside in the case today and set up a cinema for you and your loved one or a group of friends, however it is you see fit and they'll set it up and they put an amazing spread on. So you can request like food, decor, style, movie, all of the finer details, they will have you covered. It's completely bespoke. I've seen their Instagram account, which I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. And what they do is very, very impressive. I'm gonna get showered and get changed. Lids and I have had a very busy day shooting. Anybody actually that follows us on Instagram would have already seen what Ornate Moments look like because we would have already shared our stories from this evening. So it's not gonna be like a big surprise for anybody that's been on Instagram and seen it. However, if you haven't, it will be. And if you have seen it, we're gonna be going a little bit more into detail with the video tonight. So you'll be able to properly see the setup more so than just a photo on Instagram. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because we've got about 15 minutes to half an hour before it's gonna be time to go down there and get settled in for the evening. So yeah, let's go into some B-roll. I thought just before we get stuck into the movie, I'd quickly talk to you a little bit about what's going down tonight and what some of the little touches that have gone into tonight's event. We've just finished having a little couple's photo on a tripod. So if you saw on Instagram, that was where the photo was taken from. Uh, we've got a little champagne bucket at the front and of course the projector. And then if we come over to the side here, we've got Lydia's salt and vinegar crisps, sign written. You know Lydia loves some salt and vinegar crisps and hummus. Yes, I do. And some haagen ice cream. And then we've got some sweets and treats because I'm a big fan of pick-a-mix. And then we've got all of this lavender and pampas grass and lovely earthy tones. This is the sofa that we'll be sitting on tonight. How happy are you? On a scale of one to 100? the happiest little pippy in the world. <laughs> I'm the happiest little pippy in the world. I am. I'm taken away. You're taken I'm, away? Uh, <laughs> taken <aback. laughs> I'm taken away. Taken away. <laughs> I'm lost for words. I can't even get my words out. <laughs> I'm lost away. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some popcorn over here, pretzels. Chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah. They are dangerous. This is a lovely little touch. We've got some little chalkboard sign written posts. If you were a melody, I'd use only the good notes. Do you recognise that one from the film? I do, babe. <laughs> we've got some Doritos and nachos. I'll sample them as you go around. Of course you will. And then we go over here, we have our own personalised sign written. The Cinema Club, the MG's movie night, now showing the holiday. How cool is that? And then of course we've got the projector and then some more LED lantern candles and then over here snuggle up a couple of blankets for us this evening to keep us warm it's actually not that cold out <laughs> you think it's actually 
Not that cold now. Yeah. I'm frozen. Are you? Yeah. We better get you more, some more blankets then. Get me some a hot water bottle. I'm going to get you a hot water bottle and you can have three blankets. I'm walking around with no shoes on. I'm fine. I'm chilling. You're well hard, aren't you? I'm a, I'm a geezer. <laughs> that's what happens when you're a geezer. Proper geezer. <laughs> well, like I said, most interesting gale award. These are all little quotes from the film. Do you know what I should have had? Gumption. You did have gumption. Though. I should have had that on there. Anyway. Very, very cool. Lovely little touches. We also did order a takeaway, but I'm not sure if we're going to need it. Did you say, when I walked out, I was like, Jesus. I know. And then, yeah, we need to pop that little bad boy. I'll pop that now. I'm sure Lumi's going to come and join us any moment. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought I'd quickly give you a little run through because the guys have done an incredible job. I mean, look at it. Look at that. So cool. And... The night skies above us. We're just about to lose the last of sunset, so we'll be seeing some stars very soon. We also have some citronella candles burning to stop those buggles, because you wouldn't like that, would you, babe? No. You would not. But as I mentioned, of course, I'll be leaving all eight moments details in the description box below. I'm, um, I'm taken away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going to style that one out. Yeah. I'm going to go with it. the pack down <laughs> so we're finished off for the evening just taking the set down again Ooh. it's currently midnight so Lids and I are both very tired but what an incredible experience watching a movie under the stars it was probably the most fun I've had watching the holiday and trust me I've had to watch that film many times because of Lids and I'm not gonna lie I do enjoy the film but that has to be one of the best experiences um, I've never done that before and I 100% will be doing it again it was good fun so yeah if you um, are looking for something a little bit different to do something special whether it's just for you and your partner you and your friends Whatever it is, it's definitely an experience worth doing. Liz and I are going to hit the sack now, and uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so it's going to be a super chilled, relaxed end to the weekend. Today is set to be a very busy day. It's Friday, and this morning I'm going to be taking Lumi to the vet for another checkup. The last video I updated you guys on everything that had been going on and so far so good she's definitely been putting on weight again and she's perked right back up so all is good but we're going to take her back in today anyway so the vets can check her see how she's doing and progressing so that's my morning I'm then going to come home smash out a gym session maybe just maybe <laughs> I know she's going to react we might get around to starting Lydia's vegetable garden so if that happens uh, we're gonna have a happy wife. We know what we say, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and uh, yeah, back on the tools. So we have our gardener over today, so I'm gonna try and rope him in and see if he can help me out a little bit. And Ken Graham. We have got Ken and Graham here as well. We're gonna try and establish the ground level and try and see what we can do uh, to try and make the area and the beds as level as possible. Probably gonna be a more challenging aspect of it. Putting the beds together and building them is gonna be pretty straightforward because they're prefabricated so it's kind of like just building an Ikea wardrobe quite straightforward so he says <laughs> we will see but anyway that's the plan of today and we're set to have a really good day weather wise so it seems silly not to try and get out in the garden and try and do some work that's what I'll be doing I'm gonna head out now just letting Lumi eat a little bit of food before I take her and I'm gonna put her in her basket which she absolutely hates and then we're gonna go you wanted to speak um, it's supposed to be nice weather the whole weekend. Yeah. Um, so we can have some fun. Sounds good. Like, when we're in the garden, and I'm going to go to the garden centre, we can have like wine and stuff when we're doing stuff in the garden, can't we? It's going to be nice weather, it's like the last nice weather. I'm still on my coffee. Lydia, however, is on her decaf. I am. I read this morning someone else I follow on Instagram, a German fashion guy, has decided to give up coffee just because he wants the challenge, because apparently it's really hard to. He said the first day he got a headache. I didn't get a headache. 
I don't think I'm one of those people though, like I'm not like addicted to coffee or anything. Now he's not drinking caffeine, he has more stability in himself, so he feels more stable throughout the morning as opposed to having this kind of like weird feeling where his body's tired but the caffeine is giving him an edge. Yeah. I don't really think caffeine has much of an impact on me. Well, I, that's what I didn't think, I didn't right. think that. But it does. Well, I don't know whether it's because of where I've been in the past few months, but like, honestly, yes, when we were sat on the sofa, when we were having those coffees or the day before, whatever it was, and I had decided to have a coffee rather than decaf, it was instant. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, like, I've got that sinking feeling in my heart. Like, it's, I'm, it's beating out of my chest. I like put it down and didn't drink any more. I drank a load of water and I was fine. Decaf coffee for me. Yeah. Full calf coffee for me. Mm. I don't. I just. I just, I'm just. I just love it. You love it too. She's back. She's back. <laughs> Noisy moo moo. The noisiest moo moo. Yeah, everybody would love to hear that noise again. Honestly, I believe I wouldn't hear that again. She has slept all night. I think she had about seven or eight hours sleep. Not like her at all. Oh yeah. She's put on weight again though, I can see it. She already looks better. Good girl. We've just finished off in the vets and they've told us that everything's looking fine with her tummy. So we don't have to see her again for another three weeks and we're gonna start weaning her off her painkiller syringes over the weekend and uh, just monitor to make sure that when she's off those she continues to eat. So all is looking very well. A good girl. Well, I'm just about to take a trip to the zip yard. I've got my golf trousers, a pair of Reese shorts that I picked up during the summer. They just need tailoring down for golf. Uh, my River Island black jeans, I'm gonna get the tapered in at the bottom. I've got some more white jeans here from M&S or Reese, one of the two. These need to be taken down. And I'm also just gonna get the uh, Dries Van Norton trousers just slightly opened up at the top of my leg. So when I sit down, they're not so tight. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I've got my new Gymshark bag, which was sent out yesterday as a press product. I'm gonna be sticking all of that into there so I can carry it in. New little mask from River Island as well. Cause obviously now we have to be wearing these when we're out and about. This came as part of a campaign that I was working on. Also for any of you runners out there, these are so good. So these are basically phone holders that you strap around your arm. You can get ones that go around your body as well that look really cool. I know a lot of my friends run with those, but Gymshark sent this out and I've been after one for a while. It feels really nice and soft. It's also thin, very lightweight, which is obviously what you want. And it's got quite a large pouch, which means it's gonna be able to probably fit those iPhone Plus phones in, as well as my phone, which is the iPhone 11. So that's great. Slip your phone in there and away you go. Nothing worse than going for a run and having to hold your phone. Finally back out in the garden and as you can see behind me this space this area right here this is where as you know we're going to be putting our vegetable garden and today we're going to start building the vegetable beds and I'm going to have Aaron here today helping me as well we're just going to start putting the beds together marking out making sure that we've got everything aligned correctly and the symmetry is on point because if it's not, it will bug me forever. So I've got some spray paint just to mark the ground so we get the right lines. I went and brought a nice plum level and some stakes so we can just make sure that the level across the six beds are equal throughout. Lydia's managed to pick up, as I mentioned earlier, some prefabricated beds, so it's just a case of putting them together. I guess our real task is ensuring that they're aligned correctly for the greenhouse when that eventually comes. And as you may be able to see, it's probably not so clear on camera, the ground actually slopes away. So we are gonna have to do a little bit of work today. We'll see how we get on. Here are the beds, all lovely uh, cut to size, just waiting to be assembled. So we're gonna get busy unwrapping all of this and uh, seeing what we've got. So we have one bed done, three tiers, six by eight. Now I've got to try and carry it over to there. Do you wanna follow? There's something in the air, I can't explain it, but it's there. Ain't nobody gonna find us in our secret love affair. I don't wanna have to hide no more, it shouldn't be a fair. Right, 
we've just finished building the six beds and they're not in their position I think we're gonna call it a day but we've just situated them in the area and I'll have to do some measuring and some rejigging around just to make them align correctly once that's done I'll spray mark the areas that they're gonna be in just so we know where they're gonna go and then I'm gonna to have to dig out the left side drop them down into the ground so then the left side and the right side are completely level across as you would have just seen in the bottom corner just then Lumi is now allowed back out. She went to the vets this morning. They said to me to allow her painkillers to wear off, which was six hours, and then also wait until you sort a hard poo in her litter tray. That all happened today. So she's gone out and she's over the moon about it. And this is what we're looking like. So as you can see, they're quite sizable beds. We're gonna get a fair amount in there. That is a good couple of hours work. And it's probably gonna be harder to actually sit those into the ground. Whilst I have you actually, some of you may remember that we seeded this patch. Now obviously at the moment it stands out like a sore thumb because it's new grass but eventually it will grow in but as you can see we've had some good progress. We obviously need to do some more seeding. You can see lots of little patches in there. It's looking good. Eventually that will just tie in with this. We might reseed this area all down here so it helps blend it in. Probably scarify the grass and then kind of dress it up with some seeds just to sort of let it flow but it's coming along and like I've mentioned before that's just a temporary fix until we further down the line put a summer house or something in this location you're looking better darling you happy so the other day when I was creating my pathway for my beehive which we will discuss later I actually hit a brick when I was cutting the sort of like trail through and it completely bent the lawnmower blade. I picked up a new one but it's really hard to change it so the lads are going to help lift it. I'm going to quickly get that switched over. Do you wanna follow? Well, that was a very productive evening, I must say. Managed to get all of the beds built, as you just saw, so I'm very happy. Everybody's currently just chilling in the lounge. We've got the fire on. And <laughs> it's on the sofa. And it's all loomy. So, after we finished, I thought I need to tidy up, get the place sorted. Tomorrow's a fresh day. We'll see what we can do. And have you ever seen those moments in the cartoons where there's a guy or a woman, I think it's normally like the gardener or something, or the baddie, walking across. They tread on the rake. Smack. That was me just a second ago. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it. It was literally like something out of the film. You trod on the rake? Who does that? I trod on the rake. Who does that? I'm sorry, I can't. You... Please tell me you've checked the CCTV to see if it was on the CCTV. It's in the shed. It wasn't even hidden in the grass. Well, it was, I hadn't turned the light on in the shed, so I was in the shed in the dark, and I trod forward, <laughs> and I trod on the rake. Who puts a rake down that side up? It's ridiculous. It's like a trap. Who did it? I don't know. You've got a bit of a fat lip. I have got a fat lip and a, and a blood blister on my lip. <laughs> but I didn't lose any teeth. I thought I'd lost my teeth. It smashed me in the face. I thought someone was in there and hit me. <laughs> really sore. My teeth aren't wobbly. You are the only person that, that I have ever heard of that actual <laughs> thing happening to in, in, in actual life other than Tom and Jerry. <laughs> That's where it happens isn't yeah. it? That's where I'm seeing it. The that, that just happens in Tom and Jerry, it doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, can't, I don't know if you can see it in this light. I feel like, I feel like we need to go to better light. Lumi is definitely happiest when she's sitting in front of that fire. I do not know how she gets so close. Maybe get her a blanket. Yeah, I'll get her a blanket.
So it's currently 10 o'clock. We ordered our food at seven, um, but it is worth the wait. Anyway, today when I was driving to take Lumi to the vets, on Classic FM, Alan Titchmarsh said, today it's National Hug Your Boss Day. And I was like, is it really? So I Googled it and I didn't come across that information. I found it was National or International Burger Day. So I've persuaded Lydia, whether she regrets it or not at this moment in time, as it's 10 o'clock, to order a burger. I didn't order a burger, you got a burger. For International Burger Day. I've just gone for the classic cheeseburger. Oh yes, that looks sloppy. Brioche bun. <laughs> Come at me. What did you go for then? Katsu curry. Oh, it's International Burger Day. I don't care. Oh, so what's that? They've expanded their menu. That's loaded fries. Wow. Yeah. That that does look outrageous. I know. <laughs> That's why I ordered it. <laughs> yeah, Walcott and Son have just taken the attire to a new level. Oh yes. I think you're officially the coolest decorator in the UK now. Ken has got Ken on the back of him, vaping. <laughs> and then you've got the masks. Got the masks as well. And the hoodie. And the hoodies. I'm getting, I'm getting caps as well. Yeah? Yeah. I want a mask. Yeah, I'm going to get I'll rock a mask. I'm going to get you a mask. Mm -hmm. Find the right supplier. Yeah. Get the mask. Yeah. Doing beanie caps. Yeah. And look all, look all. We need to get you a website. Yeah, we do. What is it? What is it? Wickwex.com or something where you can build your own website. Wix. Is it Wix? Wix. Get on Wix.com, build your website, sell your merch. Who wants to buy Ken's merch? Turn around, let's have a look. Who would rock that around? Come on, someone out there. Oh, and you got the joggers. You got the joggers. He's got it all. <laughs> oh. He's got Oh, it is cold today. Well, this way is better. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, and we're going to be painting the house. That's why Ken's here. But even more exciting than painting the house, what you normally do, Ken is going to be staining the beehive. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you got a fresh drink, uh, Ken? Did done that this morning. Did you? I'll do it myself. Oh, I don't go to the barber shop no more. Okay? Don't need to. You don't go to the barber shop no more. You take train Joe. Huh? You no, he does it himself. You do it yourself. I've got a big hip seam, but I've lost the Kenny Ken line. Yeah, you've got a new one. So I'm, I'm growing the Corona beard. The, 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 the halo ring. The halo Corona. The Bethany. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I nice. Every day. I twist it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we look at your growth then from the side. Little spattering of salt and pepper. Oh yeah, I can see that actually. And then hopefully, You're getting a bit of length on there. Hopefully in 10 years time. Or, no, what's the guy out of Lord of the Rings that has it? Frodo. The, the, no, isn't, isn't there the guy that's like, a, like an older guy? I've not watched it. Oh yeah, the long white beard. Yeah. I've not seen it. You've not watched it? Yeah, You've not watched it? Yeah, you might be. None of us have watched Lord of the Rings, and I know that's going to hurt a lot of you to hear that, but it's the truth. So anyway, very excited to get my beehive stained up, even though we are a long way, by the way, for having that beehive out into the woodland because my course doesn't start until January 2021. And of course, depending on the climate, that could also change and be pushed back or postponed or cancelled. And I also need to do my first aid course uh, and all that stuff. So basically, we're not going to be getting bees until the spring 2021 at the earliest but i want to do it correctly and properly but i've obviously gone ahead and purchased the hive so we can get that finished and prepped ready to go which is fine so we're going to finish off that today and i am going to be taking ken's job whilst he's decorating my hive and assisting graham in the decoration because we're currently giving the fascias a nice little spruce up they're just really really weathered uh, quite quickly actually but they are natural wood so the fascias and soffits are just getting a little tidy up <laughs> So brothers and sisters, we kicking it. Oh, chill. 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 Just a casual. Yeah. So 2020 has been a little bit of an unprecedented year, but I've never seen anything in my life. Ken is having a cup of tea with two sugars. Two sugars. I need to go right 
That's five less sugars than you've ever had. This is a miracle. We've had two coats so far on the hive. As you can see, it's starting to look a little bit darker in areas, which I actually really like. So it's coming along nicely. And the boys are still working on the far side, just coating up. I can't believe how quickly these weathered. Look at this. The real wood. I got really wet. You can see it's all bobbled and bubbled. I wish they'd used the composite. Oh well. I am going to go downstairs and open up the basement. And if you remember the white trim that runs around the top, it's our temporary fix for the time being. I'm going to go and properly support the smaller basement area. And then I can't actually do this at the moment because I'm just waiting for the corners just to be cut in a little bit more. Oh yeah, I see how it is. It's our workflow, is it? You sit and chill and drink wine. And I work for the 15th time today. I'm going to be <laughs> sweeping the leaves out of here. Literally, the grass was cut yesterday. I don't know why you're bothering oh, it's just it's relentless. Oh, I know. Just leave There's a few it. trees up here. There's lots of leaves. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Join you. I'm putting my foot down. Okay. With regards to the flower beds. Because. You didn't want me to do anything to the flower bed outside of our bedroom, and I did, and you loved it. Right. That's random. Okay. And it needs some sorting out. Okay. So I'm going to sort it out. Yeah. Okay. Good. We might lose a lot of the plants that are in there. That's absolutely fine. We can perhaps rehome them in locations where... I mean, that's random as hell as well. Yeah, that needs to change as well. I think so. Yeah. So we just need to start getting some sort of uniformity. Yeah, okay. So yeah. It actually looks nice and not like we've just planted random shit everywhere. <laughs> okay. Because that's all we've been doing. We're like, oh, nice plant. We'll plant that, plant that there. Sounds a little bit like our interior at the start. Yeah, it was at the start, yeah. Right, anyway, I'm going to get busy. Anyway, I want to show you lot something. This is cool. Look at all of these new fruits. We've even had a flower. And we've got absolutely tons of little citrus oranges coming through. They're all on this side on this tree, and there's not so many on this side, apart from a couple of chunky ones, which look like they're doing really well. This time of year, this area really suffers with light, but we have actually got a lot of new growth, and the sprouts on the top have done really well. So they are actually growing, which is fantastic. Again, this tree's not doing so well on the right with new growth, but around the back, strangely, where there actually isn't that much light, we've got some growth over here. I was expecting this tree to not do as well. Uh, it's grown. We've probably had about that much growth on the top of it. I've been using my citrus feed, keeping it watered, and we have had quite a lot of rain recently. We've not got much actual fruit on the tree, but we've got lots of new stuff, so... We have had some flowers, nowhere near what it was like when we first purchased these and they were insane, but a lot of shock, a lot of movement, a lot of change. Hopefully the repotting has helped with everything because they have started uh, producing new fruit since that. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update on these. Water feature's going well. Bought some uh, foam just to soften the sound. We've moved this this morning, as you can see. I need to clean that out. I actually need to make this higher than just the sedrel because quite clearly we're not getting enough movement underneath and we're getting water holding and staining the patio so I'm going to give that a scrub down and, and eventually look when I've got a couple of uh, helpers so I might buy some pot feet perhaps that would be the better thing rather than just chucking bits of wood and material underneath so it's all good in the hood Lids has been doing a little bit of hydrangea shopping and we're going to be redressing this area over here what's on my screen? I scratched my screen and it just shows up. It looks like I've got water on it. Oh yeah, massive scratch. So yeah, we're basically sorting out this flower bed along the back here. I've just scratched my camera screens. As you can see, this little dot here. I did notice it earlier, I thought it was water. But it's not, it's a scratch, so it's another camera. This flower bed's getting a little tidy up. I think it looks nice. So, I think tomorrow morning, I might go out and get some more white hydrangeas. But what I'm thinking, is hydrangea, yep, boxes ball, yep, 
hydrangea, buxus ball, hydrangea, buxus ball for this flower bed. Okay. And then those hydrangeas up there. Oh yeah, I didn't notice those. There, which I think looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And they'll, once they're potted, they'll sort of spray a little bit more. Lovely. Hello! <laughs> you can have me some food, please. Hello, beautiful. So I think for this one, yes, this one should be just all lavender because it's got two tiers. Yeah, it's gonna. Maybe you could do like lavender, hydrangeas, lavender. Yes. Some, or something like that. Well, we need to do bee-friendly plants as yeah, well. Yeah, which is what the lavender will be. Yeah. Because it's two, like shelves. Yes. You kind of want it. You don't want it to look too, like the same. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So. Have a little think about this one. Yeah, but th I think we just need to sort of, it's just a bit much. There's so okay. much happening in here. It's, it's a very full bed and obviously it's at the end of its life, but there's lots in it. Yeah, I do get that. Maybe we get up early tomorrow morning and go to the garden centre. We've got to plant all these ones first as well. Well, no, we'll, we'll plant them tomorrow. Okay, fine. If we, if we go and get everything and yep. then we plant it all. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to lay this area out. If you want to, you can go through it, absolutely, yeah? Yeah. Cool, let's do it. Go full speed, cousin like Jason 13. I'm blazing, Phoenix rising. The symbol in the air, yo, Thundercats. Kim Trail trying to block, ain't no stopping that. My camera's just about to die, but as you can see, we've just marked out the greenhouse to be parallel with the main house. And we're now going to work on putting these beds parallel and distance properly from the greenhouse, working from the bottom up. I think this gives a nice area for the compost. To yeah, it gives a nice space at the back. And uh, we're not gonna go into our woodland, obviously, but we are gonna create a path that runs through the woodland to connect up to the beehive, the beehive that's out the back. Bee walk. One of the biggest decisions that we needed to make, whether to use the fence line here as the parallel line to work off of, or the main property itself. We've decided to go to the main property itself because we can manipulate the hedge line. But what it means is this nicely even spaced gap that you see at the moment is gonna end up looking really chi-shaped because the line that we actually are running down goes from that stake there over to this stake here. So it's actually cutting across the garden which means that we're going to be thinner at the bottom and then we're going to become wider to this end so as you can see the beds that are currently lined up to the fence they're going to be pulled across and lined up to the new pathway that's parallel with the house so you know you're talking a huge difference but I think that the right thing to do so when you look from the house down into the garden there's a parallel visual running down well as you can see the weather has closed in on us, but we have our setup, laser leveled, and we're not sure whether this is the right formation because it's evening, it's really hard to see what's going on. The gap down the side does look rather large. But it won't look large when the gravel's there. Correct, we can play with that. But we'll see. We'll see how it looks, but... I think that this is the right formation, personally. Yeah, it's really hard to see at night. We'll take a look in the morning. Let's and uh, Yeah, we'll put some food on this evening, chill out, and we might rejig this. Grab my beer, love. Good girl. Trained you well. <laughs> you lot are gonna think this is some kind of joke. <laughs> Every time I vlog we're doing this, I promise you I haven't had this in at least a week and a half. I think it was only a couple of vlogs ago I did this though. But I haven't done it, you know, in some time. It's what makes us happy. It is. So, so do we've what got makes you happy. Balsam vinegar. Do I even need to tell you what we've got? I think you know, I think you kind of see it as well. So, and I've realized I must have a little thing for Spanish beer. Successful day. It's been quite productive, I must say. Uh, I've been away from the house for a couple of weeks, so it's good to have a nice productive one.
before we wrap up this video i thought i'd quickly share with you what we got up to over the weekend well on sunday primarily as you can see we've now potted the hydrangeas in these two pots just out by the back and then very busy on this bed i know lydia mentioned putting the boxes balls in between so we went out on sunday and picked those up from frosts and that's what the bed's currently looking like looking a lot better so what we're going to do is we've got a lavender at the end and then we've got a hydrangea at the end and then boxes ball alternating all the way down and then we need to need to get one more hydrangea just to go in there just so there's symmetry throughout this bed this area here these two trees here the christmas tree and this tree here they're going to be coming out they're just in there at the moment so they survive and i'm going to be taking some of the bigger trees that are here in this section and we're going to fill this space up here just to make it a little bit denser because it's quite a big hole and uh, we want to kind of segregate the garden to the woodland a little bit more box hedging growing this is in the day the vegetable area with the greenhouse marked out at the bottom so when i spoke a lot about this so we don't need to go over it but it's what it's looking like in the day so parallel with the actual house itself wildflowers doing well hopefully they're going to reseed and next year that'll be really full and dense and then into the woodland area i actually planted the ferns on entrance and then i scattered them in a circle around where the fire is as you can see so i'm assuming they'll start to duplicate themselves if not i'm gonna have to buy some seeds and i'll seed them the uh, trail for the beehive as well we've just been laying some grass down just to kind of like start to create a pathway i won't go through but as you can see that leads through there i think i'm going to line it with sticks like this just all the way along which look really nice i've actually got to still build the frames for the brood boxes which i'm going to get on soon but yeah i thought just before we wrap up the video i'd quickly share with you what we were doing on sunday but it was a good day got lots and lots done we've also done some other stuff over by the back door that Lydia was working on so yeah all in all a very productive weekend and today's Monday it's a fresh start so I'm gonna start a new video um, I've got lots of organizing to do today actually I need to sort out my wardrobe and my shoe cupboard and stuff like that so it's gonna be a little bit of a cleanse which always feels very nice when you do those so thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you on the next one peace Phoenix rising, the symbol in the air, yo, thundercats. Kim Trill trying to block, ain't no stopping that.